Hello, how y'all doing? I'm going to talk about these antichrist pastors and evangelists. Now, there are many antichrists, just like it says in the book of John. I think it's John chapter, I mean, John number one. He says there are many antichrists, and there are. And these are some people that I have known for years. Some of these I have been par been in partnership for years. So, and... um. I don't understand why they do that. Why do they preach the gospel, cheat, uh, um, preach the word on one hand, and then be antichrist, serve the devil on another? I, I don't know how they do it. I cannot be two people. I cannot preach the word and then serve the devil at the same time. God would just have to kill me because I can't do it. But a lot of these antichrist pastors and evangelists, they preach the word by day and they're antichrist. And every day... It shocks me. I'm like, you too, it too. You remember Caesar said to Brutus, it too, Brutus. When I see some of these preachers, they have become antichrist. I'm like, it too. And I can name names. It just shocks me every day. And, and like I said, a lot of these are people I've known for years, you know, just known through the media for years. And to tell the truth, I can only name at the very most five or six that are still with Christ. The rest of my antichrist that I know of, I mean, that I, you know, may listen to. Now, I'm going to give you a warning. Now, in January, Paula White, like she does every January, she's going to ask for people to give their whole paycheck to her, not 10%, the whole paycheck to her. And she's basically talking to stupid and poor black people, and they're going to give her their money. She's talking to a sprinkling of stupid white people that's going to give her her money. But she does this every January. And you know what? It's going to be some stupid black people that's going to give that woman their whole paycheck. Okay? She wants to be kept in the lifestyle that she's become accustomed. If she owes anybody, she wants them to pay off the debt. But it's going to be some... Now, God's not going to give you the money back because God's not going to give you any money that's been sanctified to the devil. Number one, number one, he's not going to respond to a gimmick. Now, she's the high priestess of voodoo. And why, And everybody thinks that she's imparting blessings when, when the truth is she's imparting curses. Because she's the high priestess of voodoo. And, but like I said, she does this. I'm warning you. She's going to ask you for your check, your whole check this January. And in January will be here in about two, two, two and a half months. And plus, she's going to ask you for your stimulus check if you have, if you still have that. Um, but she does this every January, okay, to keep her in the lifestyle. She's going to ask you for your money to keep you in the lifestyle that she's become accustomed. Okay, the high priestess of voodoo. Have a nice day.